Hello, my name is Norm Comron. I'm a resident of Michigan, and I was born and raised here. I remember Michigan and its greatness. In fact, Michigan at one time was one of the largest economic powers in the Midwest. Since I have been alive, I have witnessed Michigan slowly lose its economic dominance every year until more recently it became one of the states with the greatest population leaving its borders in the Midwest. When you look at the facts, Unlike many of the surrounding states, Michigan's economy has witnessed a mass exodus of jobs, tax dollars, and businesses every time a recession came. Our legislature and previous governors would tell us, wait until the next year when we will implement a new program, or even soon you will be blown away. And in five years, you're gonna be blown away. It's constitutional fact that when Michigan first started as a state, its founders set our legislator's schedule to serve only as a part-time legislature and not a full-time legislature. This is because they knew that when more government is introduced, bad governance is its result. In fact, it was Thomas Jefferson who even stated, My reading of history convinces me that most bad government results from too much government. In 1963, Michigan's legislature became a full-time legislature by amendment of its constitution, and at that time it adopted its State Officers' Compensation Commission, or the SOCC. At that time, prior to the adoption of that committee, Michigan's legislators as a part-time legislator was making $3,000 a year. Shortly after that, in 1967, the state records show that our legislature's salaries more than tripled. The problem is, is today our legislators only serve for 120 days of that year. That means they're still there, for the most part, part-time. And yet, they're receiving more than $80,000 in salaries. In fact, our legislators' pay continued to increase right through our most recent recession while their very own citizens of Michigan, who they claim to represent, were taking job cuts, salary cuts, losses of family homes and farms, and other economic hardships. This is why George Bernard Shaw once wrote, a government with the policy to rob Peter to pay Paul can be assured of the support of Paul. History has now shown that our legislature cannot solve our economic problems. Former President Ronald Reagan even acknowledged this when he said, Government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. Michigan's government and its institution needs an enema. This is why today I am proposing to correct history and upright our great ship of state and return it to its roots by giving you the opportunity to vote for a part-time legislature. Our legislature has already chosen not to give you this choice as recent as within the last two years, because they have an economic interest in its defeat, which is obviously their income and benefits. But to do this, we will need to gather over 360,000 signatures, and we will need the help of every citizen to do this. The end result will be the restoration of our former constitution in all of its glory, and once and for all, taking the word career out of Michigan's politics and replacing pure Michigan with pure public service. But to do this, we must want this as a people and not as party members. Join with me and let's together realize this dream and bring back Michigan to its former greatness. We the people of Michigan are its rulers and together we can once again see our prosperity and financial gain realized. But we must do this together because our legislature refuses to do it for us. The reason is, we have everything to gain. They have everything to lose. Thank you for your time and attention.
It's really great being here at the uh, Tea Party powwow. Let me tell you why. These f people are fiscal, moral, and constitutional conservatives. And what I like about it most is these people know they need to change America for the better, and they're going to do it. And they're involved, and they're interested in making the change, and it's not the change Obama said. So I would just want to encourage everybody out there, stay involved, become a precinct delegate, do what you have to do, run for office, hold your people accountable that said they were going to be fiscal, moral, constitutional conservatives. And if they're not, get somebody else to run. Hang in there. We can do better.